the WXYZ editorial with Vice President and General Manager Ed Fernandez. We have high hopes and expectations for Detroit and its regional leaders in 2014. So do many others. But two of our veteran public servants give us cause for concern. We're talking about George Cushenberry Jr. and L. Brooks Patterson. Their recent actions and words are not helping Detroit's image or momentum. In the same week it was voted new Detroit City Council President Pro Tem, Cushenberry was stopped by the police. The controversial incident involved an empty alcohol bottle and a medical marijuana passenger. His law license was also temporarily suspended for some past legal infractions. To a lesser degree, Oakland County Executive Patterson gave a controversial interview to a reporter at the New Yorker magazine. In it, he was quoted as Detroit bashing and recalling an offensive comment about Native Americans, which Patterson says he made nearly 30 years ago. Now, Cushenberry and Patterson aren't newcomers to public service and the responsibilities that come with it. Both have long records of accomplishment for Southeast Michigan, but both at times suffer from poor judgment and foot and mouth disease. We believe it's a new day in Detroit. We have a new mayor, new members of city council, and we also have a committed group of business and civic leaders determined to rebuild Detroit. We're sick and tired of negative words and actions. We call on leaders from all walks of life to stop feeding into the divisiveness which has separated this region for far too long. Let's move forward as one and only one Detroit region. I'm Ed Fernandez. We welcome your response to this editorial.